What is up everybody? This is AMP Gonzo and I'm back with another video. Today I want to talk about three things that negatively affect your erection quality. These three things are very common. Okay. Some of these things I experienced it myself and I was able to fix it. Okay. Um, which, you know, it says because some of these are going to be a surprise, right? Or at least one of them is going to be a, it's going to be a surprise. But, uh, you know, it does suck because uh, when it's time to get it going, you're like, what the hell? It's, it's not all there, right? Then, of course, you panic and it makes things worse. But uh, I'm going to give you guys three things that negatively impact it. So hopefully you guys could do something about it, okay? And that way you don't have to go through it, right? Um, also, comment and like, subscribe. It helps me out. What else? Oh, yeah. Um, if you guys want to learn more about this kind of stuff, uh, I know a lot about it, honestly. Like, enlargement, penis enlargement, health, supplements. Um, let me know. I'll make some more videos. I'll make it simple so everyone could understand it. Uh, but that's it, guys, right? Let me know in the comments and I'll make them. Anyways, let's get to it. So the first thing that negatively affects your erection quality, guys, smoking and vaping, okay? That should come into surprise. It's bad for your health, right? Inhaling smoke. Um, many people smoke and vape and smoke all kind of things and you know when you're in your 20s you could get away with it but you know it compounds it adds up in your 30s 40s or even higher right so if you're smoking and vaping not eating healthy you're not drinking enough water it's not getting all these things and age you just naturally age going against you so if you're smoking and vaping guys which you should quit for a bunch of different reasons that's one thing that will negatively impact your erection quality. I know many smokers that, you know, early 20s, mid 20s are good. 30s, mid 30s, are like, what the hell? And even some people in their 20s, right? Because uh, that stuff is really potent nowadays. So smoking and vaping will negatively affect, affect your erection quality. Number two is sitting down a lot. Okay, guys, this may come as a surprise to some of you guys, but sitting down a lot negatively affects your uh, erection okay truckers working out of office for a long time and bikers okay people that ride bicycles um the reason for this is because when you're sitting down it puts a lot of pressure on an artery that goes through your taint right your taint area up to your penis which supplies the blood right it's a big artery so sitting down puts a lot of pressure and depending on the seat, how big you are, you know, it limits the blood to your to your junk, right? To your dick. Uh, it limits it, you know, in extreme, extreme cases, some people you know, lose the blood flow to your penis and it creates big issues, but that's um, extremely rare. But, and what is not aware is negatively having an impact from sitting down a lot. The best thing you could do to reverse this is if you know if you're riding a bicycle or you do it at the gym, bring your own seat pad, buy your own. There's special ones out there. I don't know any brands because I don't ride bicycles, right? Or bike like that. Um, but if you're sitting down, if you're a trucker, you're gonna this is a must, and it is do pelvic floor exercises to relax the pelvic floor muscles. Okay. Um, sitting down also will put a lot of pressure and make your pelvic floor muscles tighten up uh, if you don't know what those are it's the muscles in your taint basically from like your butthole to your to your to your balls right uh it's you know it muscles right there puts pressure on that artery so you're gonna have to find uh, an exercise routine that relaxes that area calm it down to keep that blood flow open okay um i do these stretches like four or five times a week Really simple, a couple minutes. If you guys want me to show you guys, let me know. And I'll make a quick video routine that you could do every day, you know, just to relax that pelvic floor, open that area, and make sure your erection is top notch. Okay, guys? Lastly is lack of sleep, right? Being tired, sleep deprived. You know, having a bad night's sleep, two bad night's sleep, you know, it might not affect it that much. If it's one day, it might even if uh, impacted at all. But over the course of time, it, it will. If you're sleep deprived, you know, uh, your erection is the last thing your body's going to care, right? Your organs is the most important thing. 
not your penis, right? So make sure you guys get enough sleep, okay? This is important for testosterone, right? And just talking about like your junk, right? Testosterone, uh, erections at night, right? Nocturnal erections. But uh, you know, if if you're tired and it's time to get it on, your body is like, uh, -uh homie, we we're too tired for that. So get enough sleep. If you can get enough sleep, guys, take naps, right? Naps are tell me up big time. I remember I had a job and I was getting, you know, I was getting laid, right? With some girl after work and psh, man, I would try to take a nap in the car, right? I love my lunch break. You know, even if I just close my eyes, relax for five, seven minutes, right? Like actually falling asleep for that little time, it makes a big difference. So if you're not getting enough sleep, find a way to take a nap, right guys? So hopefully this helps you guys out. Getting enough sleep, right? Lack of sleep, um, smoking and vaping, setting down too much, bad for EQ. All right guys, comment, like, subscribe. Peace.